Hello and welcome back to ES Gadget. In today's video, I'll be keep cleaning this Samsung refrigerator. You know, so uh, I'll be cleaning it, uh, deep cleaning everywhere to make it super clean. As you can see, it's dirty. It's not been in use for quite some time. You can see all this is that. This, even the shelves over here. Let's see, all this is that. Then you have dried. I don't know whether it was milk or whatever. Uh, dried food stuffs. Okay. So uh, if you also look at these sides, you can see this is dried food. Now for these ones, I'll be using uh, uh, baking soda uh, and warm water solution to clean this dried food. Even this one, in case of this dried uh, foods here, I'll be using uh, baking soda and uh, warm water solution. But for the general cleaning, I'll be using vinegar and warm, uh, warm water. It's perfect for, for cleaning. Now, I want to achieve, uh, what I want to achieve uh, is a super clean fridge with no odor. So, uh, I'll be using natural, uh, natural substances. I'll be using uh, baking soda. I'll be using vinegar. I won't be using any chemicals uh, because they can... Uh, uh, contaminate food, yeah, and I also want to be using soap because soap can uh, leave behind scent that can be absorbed by food. So I'll be using natural substance, uh, warm water, uh, vinegar, and baking soda. So hey, if you're new here, kindly subscribe so you get to know when I post more uh, of my experiences with gadgets. Also, uh, give this video a like. Uh, I'll truly appreciate. Without much ado. Let's get into today's video. As mentioned earlier, uh, I'm using natural ingredients. I'm using vinegar. I'm using baking soda. Now this is the spray uh, bowl. Then uh, I'll be using this uh, toothbrush. You know. Uh, then this piece of cloth and this warm water. So I'll be mixing uh, uh, vinegar with warm water, one part of vinegar, one part of warm water, and I'll also be using two tablespoons of uh, uh, baking soda with warm water. So I'm mixing one part of uh, warm water with vinegar, with one part of vinegar. Perfect solution, you know, it's just natural. It's devoid of uh, harmful chemicals. So this one will do uh, the cleaning, as you can see. So I've just uh, mixed in my spray bottle, and this one is ready. Okay. Then this one uh, baking soda I'll just use using two teaspoonfuls of this this or that uh, and of this so this is the baking soda solution with hot water once I have this uh, solution ready like this, this is now ready, and I have this one ready also the vinegar with uh, warm water, the baking soda with warm water. Uh, let me just... I'm good to go. I'll begin by removing this. Give me room and allowance for deep cleaning this uh, refrigerator. So remove uh, these shelves. And this one is glass, so you just have to be careful so you don't break them. Even when you're washing them, uh, make sure you 
very, very careful as not to break them. So in today's video, I won't be cleaning uh, the gasket because uh, this seal, I did uh, complete comprehensive cleaning because it had a lot of mold, yeah? So I did uh, a, a serious comprehensive deep cleaning where I removed the gasket and I show you how to remove it and how to clean it and how to return it as well. So as you can see, uh, it's, still, uh, it's still clean. I cleaned all these areas. Uh, they had a lot of mold, but I managed to remove all the mold, you know. So I have uh, this video. I'll leave, the, I'll leave the link in the description so you can go Check it out and know how to clean your gasket so that it's super clean like this one. So just adjust a spray here like this. With this uh, vinegar solution. So for stubborn stains, I use uh, the baking soda solution, the brush. This one gets rid of stubborn stains. In, sometimes I can also sprinkle some uh, baking soda so that you can scrub and then uh, this is it. This is it. This is is very important in such situations. Because it will help you to scrub, you know. And you So when I'm through, this bridge you'll see will be super clear. Things that were here gone completely, nowhere to be seen, gone, gone completely, nowhere to be seen. So now I think uh, we should be through with this compartment. This one. The same, 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 same process, procedure. This thing will move with the 
Hey les gars, dès la promotion, on va faire un super, 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 super plein. So this is how I normally clean uh, in the fridge. In the refrigerator, just uh, spray it like this. Once it's wholly sprayed, just take my piece of cloth. And now, just wipe it. You know. Just like this, I use my brush uh, with baking soda for dried food areas. areas with the and the brush of when for stained areas. Because this will do the trick. As you can see, this is super clean and this kind of solution makes it very easy to actually clean this fridge. Yeah. You can even the smell that is uh, coming out of this is good and you know, it's fresh.
baking water solution to just remove the, that like this. Let's use this solution like this. And also close the door. Once it's clean, just also This one, the one is here, like that. This one, the cold one, and goes inside here, like that. Then we have this one, this one, this one there. Then we have this one down here, like this. that okay. so over there this one over here and this one over here and finally this one here so as you can see the fridge is super clean super super clean sparkling clean so this is how i normally uh, clean uh, my refrigerator to look super clean it looks super nice super clean even the shelves everything is clean you know sparkling clean so we've come to the end of today's video if you found it helpful uh, kindly give it a like also uh, subscribe to this channel so you get to know when i post more gadget videos see you in the next one bye bye